Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.1 update on my iPhone XR. Also, apart from iPhone XR, I have this iOS 16.1 on my iPhone 12, as you can see. So this is iPhone 12 and iPhone XR. So I'm going to discuss about what's new with this update. And also for the older iPhones, the battery percentage feature is now finally available. So make sure you watch this video till the end. I'm going to talk about what are the new features that comes with iOS 16.1 and also I have my iPhone 12 so I'm also going to show you if there are any differences between iPhone 12 and iPhone 10 or maybe you are someone holding iPhone 12 or maybe some of the older devices like iPhone 10 or 11 so anyway make sure to watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section so the first change here is as you can see if i look at the ios version it only says ios 16.1 so before this we had this ios 16.1 the version number and the build number was also mentioned you don't have to tap anything it just was mentioned there but if i now tap as you can see it has a new build number which is 20 b 045D. So that's the new build number for iOS 16.1. And also since iOS 16 beta 5, we did not have any modem firmware update. Finally, we have a new modem firmware update. If you're having any iPhone, probably iPhone 12, I have this you know modem firmware update with me for iPhone 12 as well and for iPhone 10R. So for iPhone 10R, the modem firmware version is 5.01.00. So earlier it was 5.00.00. From there it has been upgraded to 5.01.00. So there's a new modem firmware update. Now talking about the big things, first things first. So if I go to the battery as you can see this is an iPhone 10R and many people were waiting for this I mean finally Apple heard us and as you can see this battery percentage option is available I can turn this off and turn this on if I turn this on it gives me a nice little you know a numerical representation of how much charge is left on the phone itself so it gives me that within the battery icon and finally it's there now talking about one more change i was able to find that you know this section particular what it was called battery health now there are some wording changes it says battery health and charging so from battery health it has now become battery health and charging and now talking about the battery health so before updating the maximum capacity or the battery health was 89 percent so you know after you using it for few more months the battery health has degraded by one person so that's normal so now it's 88 percent now battery life is something that i have been testing on iphone 12 so i won't be able to comment right away how's the battery life because with ios 16 the battery life was pretty average uh, even with the stable update so i'm hoping that with ios 16.1 the battery life improves so wait for the follow-up review of ios 16.1 probably during the weekend i'll make a video and i'll talk about you know the battery life and more about the performance so that's about the battery life and what's new even for the older iphones you can you know actually turn on the battery percentage also one more new thing is in the general so as you can see now under carplay we have matter accessories so this was not there this option has been added so one more new thing is that we all heard about live tracking right so so live tracking is something if you just open your clock and if you put a timer here if you start the timer and you know if you just you know drop down the lock screen or the notification so you get to see the live activity what's happening right so that was uh, live tracking and now we have a new option over there so that could be either controlled by tv application i mean apple tv application or if i come to this face id and passcode let me put my passcode and if i come down as you can see it is available here as well live activities so from here you can basically control this so that was something new i found with ios 16.1 apart from that there are uh, you know operating system changes here and there but mostly with ios 16.1 the good news is with the older iphones so with older iphones you have the battery percentage now there is something new with the lock screen customization as well so as you can see if i show you this lock screen customization and if i click on this customize so 
now it gives me both the lock screen and the home screen so earlier it was little difficult to navigate and you know uh, to set the current wallpaper you had to click this and that and now it's very simple so if you click on customize either you can click on the lock screen or the home screen depends on your need you can basically customize the lock screen or the home screen so that is something new i found with ios 16.1 so these are the things that i found with ios 16.1 has improved upon and mostly with the older iphones if you're having iphone 10r iphone 11 even iphone 12 mini or iphone 13 mini the battery percentage is now available for every iphone out there so that's the thing and side by side you know this update was a huge install because you know whenever you come from a stable update to a beta update the sizes will be huge even for my iphone 12 as you can see it came in about 5.12 gb and even on this iphone 12 i have a new modem firmware update so many of you were asking about how's the iphone 12 performance with ios 16 and you know make a video on iphone 12 ios 16 update so here is this iphone 12 running ios 16.1 so if i go to general and about section as you can see this is having the same build number of ios 16.1 and also talking about the performance performance feels good as of now but i you know uh, took the privilege of running geekbench 5 on both the phones so if i show you on iphone 10r the single core performance is 1112 and the multi core is 2649 and on iphone 12 it has come around 1586 for single core and 4110 for multi score so performance and battery life is something that I would like to discuss in the follow-up review so stay tuned for that in the follow-up review i'll talk about the battery you know life with the iphone 12 and the performance i'll discuss about for both of these iphones so make sure you are subscribed to the channel for that so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know if you are on ios 16 and if you have a beta profile installed then you should be able to receive ios 16.1 update and this update should be a large install probably between 4 to 6 gb if you're having an iphone 12 or 12 pro it would be you know above 5 gb and if you're having older devices it could be between 4.5 to 5 gb so then again that's it for this video ios 16.1 beta is available now make sure that you know if you don't have a beta profile installed you will not be able to get this update keep that in mind if you want to install this update go to beta.apple.com and download the beta profile and you know through the vpn and device management section install that profile and once that profile is installed you need to restart your iphone once your iphone is restarted go to the you know software section and check for the update and then you should be able to receive this update now talking about the updates i also found a kind of a bug you could say if i go to general and click on software updates for some reason it is not able to check for the software update i have restarted my phones couple of time but i'm not sure whether this is with anyone else or not this says unable to check for update and even this is not with iphone 10r even for the same is happening with iphone 12 if i go to the settings and click on software updates as you can see it is not able to check for the software updates at least it should show right that your ios is up to date so it is popping a message saying that unable to check for the update so i think this is a bug and they would fix it with the next beta but this is something i wanted to highlight so then again that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed the video of ios 16.1 let me know in the comment section whether you have updated to ios 16.1 or not if you have a beta profile installed and this is finally a good news for all of us right who is holding iphone 10r and iphone 11 so finally you can use the battery percentage feature so then again i hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because your one like and subscription means a lot to me and it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of content on my channel so with that being said i will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.